Talking to kids about the facts of life has always been a tough gig for parents. But let's face it, our world has changed. Growing up in the 21st century is a hyper-speed experience. Things that you say to people and the things that you, you do to someone, they can affect them for the rest of their lives. And it's up to us as parents to protect and prepare our kids as best we can. It's a gift to have so many backgrounds and cultures. So, we asked a group of very brave mothers and fathers and their curious kids to sit down and talk through some of life's biggest and most awkward lessons. But thanks to Nature's Way, giving your kids a healthy start with Kids Smart, today our parents are talking to their kids about racial equality. What does equality mean to you? When someone's different, say you're better than because like you're from a different country. Equality is like equal rights across all genders and like races and stuff. Yeah, I would yeah. agree. Mommy, you're me too. I think equality for me, the word means treating people equally. Like, how do you feel when you see different people like walking down the street? Like, do you judge them? Or... No, I personally don't judge them, but I know that there's some people in the world that do, and that's not right. Kids treat you different because you have um, Tongan heritage. Some people like bully me a bit like down Tongan and their shrine. I get pretty sick of it. So they don't think that you're equal. Yeah. But I think the wrong thing is when people say that, oh no, I don't want to hang out with you because I don't like the way that you eat food or what you do or like, you know, the way you speak. Like if you have dark skin, you know, you're seen yeah. as like less efficient. But like when we were in school in like when we were like the only dark ones there for a while, it was very difficult like yeah. finding friends that understood. Like for example, we, we have a Latin background, right? And it's a minority in Australia. Was it ever brought up to you in a, any way? Our background is not um, the same, but then again, it's also even better than being the same. Because if we were all one person, then it wouldn't be fun, it wouldn't be bright, it wouldn't be colourful. Because you get people say to me when I was younger, I'll go back to your own country and that. So we started forming our own little groups and fight each other, but that's not really the way to do it. Because if someone says something bad to you, yeah, you can tell them you don't like what they're saying. You said no, 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 no. Yeah, but if you react, then it's going to Turn, it worse. The things that you say to people and the things that you you do to someone, they can affect them for the rest of their lives. Yeah, words are hurtful. Yeah. Yeah, so you really need to treat everyone with respect and kindness, okay? Everyone should be treated the same. Yeah. Whether they're a different um, coloured skin or whether they're from another country or whether they're girl or boy or whatever. Yeah, because that's the thing that we don't choose how we come out, and so we don't choose if we are Latin, uh, French, Indian, African, we're just born. Yeah. You got that saying that goes, sticks and stones will hurt your bones, break your bones, but words will never hurt you, but sometimes the words May. starts up the arguments and the fights, and then someone gets hurt. What is one of the things about multicultural culturalism, you know, where everyone is different, yet they bring their background and share with us. What is the one thing that you, you like the most? It's um, a gift to have so many backgrounds and cultures, because if we didn't, then we'll just be boring people. Yeah. Australia is a perfect country, isn't it? Yeah. Because there are so many things that we, have, we can experience from having all these many different people, different cultures, we can learn so much. Um, the food, the variety of food, the variety of uh, knowledge that we can get as well. I love this country so much because we've learned to become, you know, more diverse. I think it's just a matter of time before like the rest of the world follows along.